Hello y'all, welcome back. Thank you for clicking on today's video. Today we're talking about, oh, oh, you're excited, aren't you? Association and causation. Now, I'm sure that you all have heard that before. Like there's that buzz, uh, correlation does not equal causation. That's really what we're talking about today. Now, remember, we've been dealing with having two quantitative variables and one being the explanatory variable, which is represented on the x-axis, and one being the response variable, which is represented on the y-axis. And we've talked about how we think that one usually uh, explains the other. Like, as you get older, it explains why you might not be able to see as far. So one maybe causes the other, but most of the time you're just really saying that they're correlated with each other. Now, there are some things that are definitive, like one causes the other, and you can see that, but you also logically know it, but you've also gone through the effort of proving that one causes the other. Sometimes, though, people are confused because they can see that two variables are correlated, Sometimes, however, people can be confused because they can see that two variables are correlated. Uh, like right now, the reason my dog is running around the room is because she's trying to catch a fly. She can't help it. She's excited about it. That is causing her to move. Now, however, something like the real cause of autism is organic food sales. Yes, these two things are correlated, and this is actually, I, I was reluctant to show this graph because it actually has four variables on it. Can you believe that? Four variables. So autism and organic food sales, that type, that's what the color is, that's one. Sales of organic foods is on one axis, and then autism is on the other axis. They're not the same. This is actually not the best graph. And then years is on the x-axis. So you've got one, two vertical axes, one with sales, one with um, number of diagnosed, and then the third or fourth, whatever you want to call it, autism and organic food sales is going to be the different color or patterns. Now, what they're showing you is that as time has increased, these two things both have increased. So they're correlated with each other because as one is going up, so is the other. And you can see that it's giving you an R of point nine, excuse me, an R of 0 0.9971. That's actually really tight correlation. But I do not expect that autism has been increasing because organic food sales have increased. No, we would say that they're associated or they're correlated, but organic food sales is not causing autism. Another one, lemon imports and highway fatality rates. Do you think that having less uh, fresh lemons imported from Mexico is decreasing the fatality rate. They are very highly correlated. You can see in the top it has an R squared of 0.97 and I want to point out to you that is positive because remember it's the squared value. R itself, remember, is going to be the squared version of that or uh, the square root of that. So R would be negative because this is a negative association. R squared is going to be the proportion of variability that's explained in the fatality rate by the straight line model with lemon sales. So again, I do not expect that lemon sales are causing or making the fatality rates on highways decline. Associated, correlated, but not causing. It's not a causation. Next one we have is pirates causing the average temperature to increase. Now, I love all pirate words, like pirate, booty, plunder. That's all I can think of right now. But I do not think that if there are more pirates, we are going to have a higher, higher global average temperature. Mm -mm. They're associated, but the number of pirates does not cause global warming. 
So, what have we learned? Same old phrase. I'm going to say it again, even though you've heard it before. Correlation does not imply causation. Association is different than causation. If you want to prove that something is causal, you really have to go through a lot of effort. The textbook uses an excellent example. Smoking causes lung cancer. Now, initially, they could not show that because all smoking uh, studies were observational. However, now, because of breadth of information and how long it's been studied, smoking causes lung cancer. We have to go through a lot of effort to prove that something is causal. It tends to be the case that when you see an association or a correlation on a scatter plot or with a correlation coefficient, it gives you evidence to do further research. Always further research. Because why not, right? That's what we're in this world for. Don't smoke. See you in future videos.